What's up, everybody? Welcome to Pulley FP, the channel where we'll help you gain leverage in your business by freeing up time and resources. In this video, we're going to talk about a strategy that allows you to basically get in front of your prospects on an automated basis uh, using email. So we're going to set up a automatic email funnel that can go to either warm prospects, cold prospects, or even existing clients. So we're going to show you that in this video right now. All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a funnel in Reply.io. So Reply.io is a, you know, actually starting out as a cold email software. So it's kind of a cross between like an active campaign, but also a cold email. Like, so it actually emails directly from your Gmail or Outlook um, and does it in a systematic way. So from the client end or the prospect end, it looks like it's coming directly from you instead of a, different hosted server like Constant Contact or Active Campaign or one of those. But this allows you to automate and also kind of create a CRM at the same time. So it's a really powerful tool, especially for cold prospecting. So what we're going to do today is, um, so I have an email list of a bunch of different client prospects that I want to upload into here. But also as part of this, I have kind of a funnel that I want to track of these clients. Um, so I'm going to show you how to build this out from the Excel to the actual uh, implementation. So first we're gonna sign in. So when you log in, you have a bunch of different options. So typically it'll take you through a setup process, but I have already gone ahead and done that. So we're gonna just focus on the actual building of the sequence. So we're gonna do a new sequence. And we're gonna do from scratch for this. So for this, I want the first step to be add an email. So that's gonna be the first step. All right, so I got my email created and I'm not sure how accurate these are, but I think it gives you a, a decent, better than nothing idea of how you're doing in terms of uh, writing your cold emails. But we're going to go ahead and save that. And then we're going to go ahead and add a next step. Um, so ultimately, I want them to get a, get a response. And I feel like the best way to get a response is to warm them up first. So instead of just cold emailing again, I'm going to add a step to do a to-do, but you can actually add a step here to send a LinkedIn message or request. So send linked request. So I'll do that. And I usually recommend uh, doing a personal video with that, which I have a video that I'll link to as well in here on how to create personalized videos. But so doing a uh, LinkedIn request, and then if they accept that, then I'll go ahead and do another personalized video. So I'm going to do a video. So I'm going to do that. If they follow up, if not, I just will ignore it until I see a request come in. Okay, so then after that, I will send a another email. All right, so now I've got that fourth email saved. So let's go ahead and save that. And then, so yeah, so that's about almost two weeks worth of stuff right there. And so from there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a step. Uh, we're gonna add a task. And this I'm going to do is send mailer one. So this is going to be like a lumpy mail sort of thing. And then, so I'll send that. And then from there, what I'm going to do is I will send a, another LinkedIn message. And this is going to be send a case study. All right, so then I want to do. All right, send mailer to. Okay, and then last one. 
We'll add in a phone call too. And you can, if you want to add a phone call, you can add in a phone script or things like that if you want. For now, I'm not going to do that. I just want to. Um, I'll just do that. Okay. And then if you want to space these out a little bit more, you can. So let's say I want this two weeks, give a little bit of time for the mail. Um, same with this. Let's make this like, yeah, actually make that two weeks too. Okay. So now we got basically a, here, just a, appease my OCD. All right now, so now we have a one, two, let's say eight step funnel. And then I mean, we can easily add in things in here to you know, sweeten the deal. We can add more calls. You know, you can, you can make this go as long as you want. So maybe like, maybe this is then you just kind of add in a monthly drip from here. Uh, so let's just do that. Let's see here. So we'll do drip number one. We'll do that a day. We'll do a ninety, and then we do an email, or maybe we just do like a. Yeah, I mean, this is where you can get as creative as you want. Maybe we send a lumpy mail. Maybe we do another email. So let's just do a send personal email. Okay. Okay, so that gives us 10 touches. So typical sales process needs, you know, around 15 touches to have an effective sales process or to really close or convert a prospect. That being said, really with this sequence, all we're really trying to sell is not actually sell a product yet. We're just trying to get a meeting. So generally, if you try 10 plus outreaches and no one even gives you the time of day, I would kind of cut that out as a deal that's not going to go through because they know who you are. They know they've heard of you at this point. You know, maybe you could do one more Hail Mary and do a really expensive, like lumpy mail package of like, you know, some company swag to get through the door. But usually at this point, if they're not giving you the time of day, they're not going to give you the time of day. And if they do have that need rise, at least your name would be the first one that they think of. Okay. So once you have the scheduled, next step is to then pick the schedule that these emails will go out. So the default schedule is just Monday through Friday, business hours. Although I was tweaking this earlier to play around with it. So you can easily adjust this. So let's say we want just nine to five, or you can structure it however you want. But let's go ahead and just stick with the same schedule. So we're gonna save that. And then we go from the next step. This is where you can add people. So once you are trying to add people, you can do it a couple different ways. So your first way is you can create it manually just by typing in individual people. You can add from people that you already have and sort of the CRM within Reply.io, or you can do what we're gonna do, which is import from a CSV. So if you don't have a CSV, um, or say you have an Excel spreadsheet that already has all the clients, you'll wanna make sure you just save it as a CSV. Uh, if not, you obviously can't upload it if it needs to be a CSV file, but make sure you, if you have an Excel, you save it as a CSV. If you don't have an Excel, you can import it manually or from the CRM. Okay, so once you have your CSV imported, it should automatically track the based on the data within the field in the CSV, for example, email to email, first name to first name, so on and so forth. But if they don't map, you can actually manually map them by just selecting down the field here. Um, but the main main stuff we need did map. So we are going to go ahead and click continue and then review and import. But what you can do in here is that you can, if you already think you might have some duplicates, you can skip 
uh, updating existing contacts, or you can detect contact time zone automatically. I'm going to go ahead and do that, but I'm not going to worry about skipping updating existing contacts. So we're going to import it. Okay, so basically of this, we added 489, and 56 were skipped for whatever reason, and there were two errors. Once those people are added, then we will select the settings. So you can select the different settings. So here, under general settings, you have your email address, and then you also have the number of emails per day. So this will send through your email server instead of through like a host, like Constant Contact or Active Campaign or something like that. It will send directly through your email provider. So that's why you have to kind of cap it per day. So they'll let you do 200 day per day max. Let's just say we want to do, because we want a manageable, manageable email sequence, we're going to do max number of emails of 25. Um, then you can, you can change the amount of time between emails. You don't necessarily have to. I just leave these settings kind of at status quo. Uh, replies handling, this is important. So if you're, especially if you're doing cold emails and someone replies like unsubscribe or, you know, leave me alone or whatever, whatever they may respond, make sure you mark that person as finished. So that way you don't keep, keep sending them emails or something like that if they don't want them. Um, you can, however, continue sending emails. So say you're sending emails to like just nurture current clients. Um, you may not necessarily want to remove them if they respond and just say like, oh, thanks for the info or whatever. Uh, so you have those two options. You can either continue the sequence regardless or mark them as finished and then that they will be removed from that sequence. Uh, so for task handling, same sort of thing you can do either manually. So you have to like go for the sequence to continue. You have to go in and manually ch check out the task. We're going to do automatically, but that just basically makes, makes it us have to stay more on the ball to keep everything rolling. Um, then you can do more advanced settings, but um, this is really just if you have several sequences running at the same time, which email gets priority? I always just do first emails get priority. All right, and then once you have all the steps done, all you have to do is save and launch. You can give your new sequence a name by clicking up here, and then that's all there is to it. And then once that sequence runs, it's just about staying on top of it, making sure that you are you know, staying dripping on the client, staying, making sure you're completing all the tasks, things like that. And so when tasks come through, it will come through in a task file up here, or I guess task section up here. Yeah, hopefully this was valuable and hopefully Reply IO will be a great tool for your sales prospecting needs. But yeah, definitely if you thought this was valuable, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We provide a lot of valuable content to business owners to make sure you're you know, finding more efficient ways to complete tasks and bring out new business and things like that. Uh, you know, if you got this, found, found this video useful, make sure you like and subscribe. And yeah, otherwise, wish you all the best. And we look forward to providing more content to you in the future.